From now on, with, with limits related to E, we will assume these two facts to be true, that the limit of 1 plus 1 over x to the power of x is E as x approaches both infinity and negative infinity. And then we, we want to compute this. What we need to do is somehow manipulate this expression until these two match each other, but we need a 1 here. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to think of 3 over x as the reciprocal of x over 3. Now as x approaches infinity, so does x over 3. But now we don't have this matching. So we need to work on that. And usually in calculus, now, by now you're used to it. If we want something to be there, we just smuggle it in by adding and subtracting or multiplying and dividing by the same amount. So now we're almost there. Okay, so we smuggled in the 3. We need, we need the denominator 3, we don't need the numerator 3. And actually we need to separate them together because our goal is to match these, uh, the exponent here with the denominator there. And so we can achieve that if we just separate what we wanted from the payoff and interpret this product in the exponent as repeated exponentiation. Now what's inside will approach E. And if there is a limit, then by the power rule of limits, this would be the same as the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over x over 3 to the x over 3. And when we're done with this limit, we raise it to the third power, which is e cubed. So that 3 makes a big difference there. Thank you for watching.